today was a bit of a strange one. I actually did a competition hunt with a local detectorist by the name of Tommy Turbo, who's got a reasonably new channel on YouTube. Please check him out. Link in the video description. Now it was no good me driving to one of his permissions or him driving to one of mine because in the free time that I had available, by the time we got there and back, we'd only have about half an hour to an hour for hunting. Because of that, we decided to hunt in a local park. I've actually hunted in there a few times, maybe 10, 12 times, with varying degrees of success. 99% of the time, all I'm finding is modern coins. I found a couple of Georgian coins, maybe one Victorian, and also a crotal bell, which was about 12 inches down. That was with the E-Track. That was a hell of a depth. Apart from that, modern trash. That's all you find in that park. So because we had about two hours available, what we decided to do was just hunt a similar area together, well, more or less together. Both of us using the Deus. I was using the nine inch coil and he was using the 11. I think we were both in GM power. And we decided that after an hour, we'd just do a roundup and see what we had. After the next hour, we'd do another roundup. So it would almost be like a game of football. It would be a game of two halves, and then we would decide who was the winner. Tommy knows his machine very well, and I'm possibly not as good with the Deus as him. I tend to just get a decent signal, dig it. He takes a little bit more time over his signals, and I found out he digs next to no trash. I had a pocket full of trash, and he had hardly any. Did we find anything good? Well, watch on. Mr. Turbo, <laughs> come and have a look. <laughs> I was in the lead about two seconds ago. You're not in the lead now. Joke, <laughs> mate. Is that the first gold you found down there, mate? <laughs> First ring of any sort, it's knackered like it. Your nine, nine carat like it. Huh? Ah, there's the whole one. Jammy. <laughs> <laughs> what a start, what a start. <laughs> Honestly, that's uh, it's the only piece of jewellery I've ever found apart from an earring back in here. I would search a whole area, there might be. Uh... No, not maybe. There you go. Little gold ring. I think it's only nine carat, very light, but what a cracking start. Hello, we've got another signal here, and it's something shiny. Oh, man. Thought it was an earring or something, but unfortunately I think it's off some jeans or something. Maybe it's Armani jeans, I'm not sure. Get in there. I've got what looks to be like a little coin ball. I think it was reading 75, 76. <laughs> and the reason it was reading 75, 76, when it should have been reading about 82, is that because it's only three quarters of a coin, three quarters of a pound coin, so it's worth about 75 pence. Carry a few coins up there, mate. Right? Right. That's all right. Where's my pendant? <laughs> That's it. Right. There's another one there. That's a French coin. Yeah. How long will we be that? Is about an hour. About an hour um, and a quarter, I think. That's not long at all, like right, for that, is it? That many yeah. coins. That's. Tell me how lot's been hammered. There's still stuff here, isn't it? You yeah. know. Eleven coins. You got eleven, have you? Yeah. Didn't know you had that many. I just wasn't telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only got eight. I just presumed you were, when you were digging, you were just weren't telling us what you've been finding. No, you no. must have told us every time you found something. I did, I. That's 11 coins. You're a little, you're a little bit more slide than me. <laughs> and a ring. <laughs> so, first hour, how many coins did you get? Uh, eight. Eight coins for Tommy of mixed ages, going back to probably his Victoria, I would say, maybe. And 11 coins for me, 
and a gold ring. That's Tommy's eight coins, one of which is a little French one, and quite a nice little pendant there of a religious nature. It's possibly Sacred Heart, looks like a, a Catholic one. No idea of age. Very good. That's the oldest one we've had up to now, isn't it? It is, aye. So that was the end of the first half. Pond Guru, the winner. But only just. I think I found two or three more coins and the ring really saved it for us. Before we get on with the second half of the hunt, check out this channel trailer, subscribe, watch this guy's videos. He hunts in America and he catches some damn nice fish as well. Okay, part two. We went to a slightly different area of the park and it was extremely hard hunting. Tommy lasted about five minutes there and decided it was no good and left to go somewhere else. I stuck it out for about three quarters of an hour and I didn't dig one good target. So the things that I found in part two were really all in the last ten minutes of the hunt. <laughs> Tommy is going to crap himself when he sees this. It's another gold ring, believe it or not. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't have seen it myself. Still got the cork of earth in there. <laughs> and you know, I've hunted this park maybe a dozen times for a lot longer than I've been here today. And that one's got a bit of weight to it. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. It's pretty much exactly the same design. But this one's full. It's not cracked like that other one. Uh, it's got hallmarks in there of some sort. But that one is a lot better. A lot more weight to it. There's the first one. Which is cracked. There's the second one. Which is a lot bigger. And a lot heavier. Get in there. Look at that man. Two gold rings. Wow. <laughs> no bother. Nice one you found out, like? I'll have to wait and see. <laughs> well, you'll have to wait and see what I found. <laughs> Same here, I've got no special light, like, but you know, better than note. Right, see you in a bit. See ya. Part two, is it? Uh, well, I'm doing better than I thought. Well, at least you got a shiny one. <laughs> uh, I got a 20 pence as well. No both in there. See, the one side they were like that. Would it? So it kept like the inside shiny when I opened them up. One of that deep. Oh, that one. Quarter of one pence. It's a farthing. <laughs> is it? No, it's just chopped in quarters. What is it? No one. It's a penny, just chopped in, chopped in bits. Like. Doesn't look like a penny by the edge. Shut up, man. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. No kidding, it was 10 foot away from where that one was. Reading 58. Jesus Christ. And it's a proper one, it's a proper heavy one. Like. That's a, uh, it is, you can tell it. <laughs> but it even a matching pay, you didn't, right. didn't only buy two, but you, you didn't. I can't believe that. I wonder if the dude's lost one, bought another one, and lost that as well. I was going to say there, but I, I mumbled the words. You not only found one, you found one to match it. No, that's, that's a, unbelievable. I've never found gold yet. I'm good at now. I knew you had something in your back. I knew you had something. Because <laughs> you had the full tripod up there. I knew there was something there. That's even worth a diamond, isn't it? Tommy's part one. Tommy's part two. My part one. My part two. Now on the way back we were discussing how the hunt went 
and we're, we're kind of give a, a bit of a critique on each other's methods and I noticed that Tommy was moving very fast but digging very slow not that he was digging the hole slow but he was slow from the time of identifying the target to retrieving the target there was a lot of backwards and forwards going on there was a lot of confirming the signal pinpointing whereas I tend to hunt the exact opposite I'll hunt slowly but when I get a signal I'll go bang bang turn bang bang dig it up as soon as possible so he tended to be hunting fast but digging slow I was hunting slow and digging fast if that makes any sense to you so we did have different ways of doing things to be honest they both worked if you take those rings out of the equation it would have been pretty equal but it just shows you that both methods do work if Tommy had been a little bit quicker in retrieving the targets he may have even got more coins than me so it was pretty equal right then here's those rings cleaned up it almost looks like a matching pair but because I've never worn rings in my life I don't know whether women would wear something like this both got little hallmarks in here but until I get the little jewelers loop out I'll not be able to read that certainly gold the pair of them now Tommy came up with a fantastic theory as to why there might have been two rings close together and that was that one was possibly a man's ring and the other one was possibly a woman's ring they almost seemed to match they're so similar and they were very very close together that and I tend to agree with Tommy what we think has happened was a couple got into an argument I'm going to throw that away. Well, bollocks to you. I'm going to throw mine away as well. I think that's a pretty good theory. And I'm behind that one. I'm just glad that I was in the right place, right time. Thanks very much for watching. We are going to do this again. I'm not sure when, just whenever our schedules align well. But uh, it was quite enjoyable. And Tommy will be out to revenge his defeat. So we're definitely going to do it again. No doubt Tommy will win the next one and we'll probably make it a best of three. So there will be a few more videos coming up in the competition style. And hopefully they'll have some good finds like this one did. I personally won't be doing as many detecting videos this year because I want to make more time for my other hobbies. Fishing, bushcraft, survival, outdoor skills, wildlife, tracking, trapping, mountain biking. I've got a lot of hobbies which I have really been neglecting. Since I started metal detecting videos, I've hardly put out any other videos relating to the outdoor pursuits. So I'm going to try and make more of an effort to get back into that because I've got a lot of interests and I would like to share them with you. I will be going on an expedition which will be a survival expedition way up into the hills. I think really as far as comforts go, it will be a rolly mat and a sleeping bag and that'll be it there won't be any sort of shelter certainly won't be any food i will have to catch everything now i'm looking forward to that like a kid looks forward to christmas this is right up my alley i hope you enjoy it you don't have to watch the videos if you're not into that just don't bother watching them but i really want to make those videos because that's something that i would like to share some knowledge on i want to try and make more more educational more information rich videos it's all right doing the metal detecting videos where you're clowning around you might find something good you might find something crap but i think they've just become a little bit samey you know i might you know i might find some decent finds sometimes but going out somewhere this is where i am this is what i found it's it's a little bit samey so at the risk of losing viewers and subscribers i'm going to do more about my other hobbies now I'm not gonna beg you to subscribe but if you're not subscribed and you want to subscribe click subscribe click the little wheel next to it to be notified of new uploads if you want to see what I'm doing but if you're not bothered I'm just happy that you're watching this video that's good enough for me subscriber numbers viewer numbers don't really bother me I'm just happy making videos and putting them out if people appreciate them that's great but I'm not one of these fellas that wants to get millions of subscribers and tens of millions of views. It doesn't bother me. I just want, just want to treat it as a hobby. 
then it's still fun. That's the main thing. I really enjoy making videos. Thanks very much for watching. I shall catch you next time. Now we've got the sound of disappointments in the bottom of the holes and wind howling past my head. <laughs> you just find them all in together, all the good stuff and the shite. Like. Well, I wasn't taking that much shite, I'm too fresh. <laughs> <on there. laughs> is that your second lot, is it? No, that's the first lot, lad. I was going to say. Whoa! Now, as we were driving away, we were talking about the hunt and how it went and how I was absolutely marvellous because I wouldn't both halves. That's the difference between somebody who's average and somebody who's good at metal detecting and able to pick out the good in amongst, in amongst the bad. That not hardly speak. <laughs> it shocked me with that, eh? Get in there. Look at that, man. <laughs> what the hell is French coin down here? <laughs> wow, that was a clearer signal than that other one, mate. Like. That was I a can't believe it's on that. You don't really find gold neither, do you? No. You've got two gold rings in one. And I've never found anything like that in here. What's that? <laughs> Tommy Turbo's got his ass kicked there. <laughs>